we would go on like 20 minute, 30 minute walks, no shoes, like leave the house, no shoes, or you can leave the house and then like put your shoes in your front yard or, or something, but make sure you're in an area where no one steals your shoes. One time I got my shoes stolen. <laughs> yeah, I was crowded. <laughs> 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 that's to be like the one of the worst things ever is to get your shoes stolen. Yeah. That happened to Zach. Wait, so you got your shoes stolen or he did? And Zach got his shoes stolen. Oh my god. Yeah, he got he got them ripped out the gym locker room. People would just steal them at the lockers. There's no locks, right? Like, oh yeah. People just put their stuff in there and then they go out for gym. So I got a story about someone stealing shoes to share real quick. We were in New York in October and we were in this apartment building in Manhattan. And we all take our shoes off because New York's dirty, right? You don't want to wear your shoes into your apartment and like dirty your apartment up. So we, we go into this apartment where we're like about to go out for the night. And uh, so we leave our shoes out in the apartment hallway. And there must have been like 15 pairs of shoes in the hallway, right? So like we go to leave. We, we go to go out for the night and everybody's shoes are there except for Zane's. Somebody stole Zane's shoes and they were just gone. So he had no shoes. There was no, like, he, he didn't have any shoes. Luckily, he had a pair of shoes at his brother's place where he was staying. He had to, uh, he had to Uber back to his brother's place with no shoes on it in New York City. No shoes. And go get another pair of shoes. <laughs> so funny. That's too good. It was so funny. Hilarious. Yeah. He's in the Uber barefoot. It's a barefoot legend. But so we had the walks and we would go out and go for a walk for like 20, 30 minutes, right? And just go barefoot and. Um, that would feel great. And then the other method I would do is, and I still am doing this because now in the winter, right? Like I can't go on the barefoot walks. Like we live in Michigan. So I do, I go in the gym and I, I'm not barefoot like that guy was. I do have socks on, but I take my shoes off and I have socks on. Maybe I'll have the toe spacers next time under the socks. So I have my socks on and I do all my workout with just, just bare feet. And I've honestly been doing that since the summer now. And it feels great. Like, I don't think I could work out again with shoes. Like, doing the squat barefoot feels great. Doing um, box jumps with no shoes feels great. All of it feels great. And the thing is, I actually learned um, lifting barefoot. I didn't learn lifting with shoes on. I, li- I lifted in my backyard with a barbell and weights. So, I was just in my garage. I didn't put shoes on. Yeah, why would you wear shoes at home? No, I didn't. I, I didn't even think about putting shoes on. It was just natural for me to go out barefoot because I. It was the summertime, right? Like you don't ever wear shoes. That's now I'm back to my roots, and I love it. Like it feels great. Never wearing shoes again. See, so you go to a nice gym. At my gym, I had my shoes off one time, and they told me to put my shoes back on. They told me to put my shoes back on. I wasn't even doing anything egregious. I had my socks on and everything. But this other guy, they don't tell him to put his shoes on. But no, that's nice, uh, being able to lift with no shoes, um, squatting. So what do you do? Like, what do you, anything and everything at the gym with yeah, no anything shoes? and everything with no shoes. But the best stuff is the leg stuff, right? Like a bench press, whatever, like shoes, no shoes. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But when you're talking about squats, lunges, box jumps. Box jumps is really yeah. interesting with no shoes, yeah. All of that is really good with no shoes. I like to do boxing as well because there's a little... Uh, boxing bag in the turf area so i'll take my shoes off for that and that feels great no shoes right like you're always on the tips of your toes and you constantly have to be moving and shifting left and right hold on that's a great point so think about the ufc they're not wearing shoes when they're fighting in the octagon they're wearing no shoes they might they might have their like ankles taped up i don't think they, i don't think they do they'll tape up their feet for support for the bones and it's just to support the bones so they don't break as easy right that's interesting yeah so street fighting, no shoes. Yeah, no. So yeah, definitely wouldn't want to wear the shoes when you're boxing. And it feels great on the feet after. And then I'll go in the sauna and then that's where I do the toe yoga. So in the sauna, now I can, I just worked out on my feet and I really was strengthening them and then I can um, stretch them and it feels great in there. Yeah, I see people all the time wearing shoes in the sauna and to each their own. I I'm not judging, but... I personally don't wear shoes in there just because, you know, we're getting up there towards 200 degrees. Like, I don't need shoes. I want to be in there uh, in just a towel, basically. I don't want to have anything on. But sauna is a perfect place to to do some toe yoga. Yeah. Because, like, we go into the sauna for what? You know, 15, 20 minutes. You know, that's the perfect amount of time just to sit there. You got to do something. We don't bring our phones in the sauna. So you got to do something while you're in the sauna. 
And uh, toe yoga is perfect. You know, you can sit there, you can spread the toes, do some foot exercises, roll the ankles. You can do a lot with the, the lower foot uh, toe area now that I think about it. And I remember I learned uh, the toe, or not the toe yoga. Well, I learned the toe yoga from Peter Atia, but he also talks a lot in Outlive about working out barefoot. So he shows pictures of him squatting and stuff, and he used to squat with shoes on, and he used to do really incorrect form with a lot of weight, and he realized that he was just damaging himself. So he uh, has the pictures of him taking his shoes off, and then he's squatting barefoot, and um, he really worked on it. No weight, deloaded it entirely. Maybe, yeah, it was just a bar, I think, and he was just really working on getting deep squats, perfectly level. And because, dude, he had a terrible tip to the right. He had a before and after picture, and it was terrible. But I think taking off the shoes and having no support and then just really honing in on form really helped him improve. Dude, it was, it took me till last year to, because I used to squat with shoes on. And my form, I needed to have someone there with me to look at my form to tell me, hey, that's not right. And it was Rohan. He told me, he said, take your shoes off, you know, flat, because people wear, we talked about it. People wear, you know, flat shoes at the gym to get that that barefoot effect. Yeah, they go wear a Converse or they wear Vans to actually have the flat barefoot effect. Yeah, they even have like specific lifting shoes you can buy like for like squatting or deadlifting or, or something, whatever. But yeah, so I was I was squatting at the gym and uh, Rohan told me, he said, your form's terrible, bro. And uh, I was like, okay. Um, and he said, take your shoes off. So I took my shoes off and started squatting and right away I can just say like I noticeably was like this just feels way better it feels more natural you know like wearing no shoes and lifting like obviously make sure you're doing it safe like right like don't be in a situation where you want to drop like weights on your foot but you know I took the shoes off started squatting and you're more you're more level like talk about foundation you have a better foundation you're activating uh more of those muscles in the foot you're not relying on that shoe, the the base of that shoe to give you the support. You're activating those muscles, 125 muscles in each foot. Some shoes even have ankle support, right? Yeah. So Look at those, uh, you know, the Hoka's? Yeah. Those things are so clunky, bro. <laughs> yeah, I could never run with those. <laughs> those things are so... I, people love them. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I uh, Rohan has a pair. He says they're really comfortable. I'm sure they are. I'm sure you feel like you're bouncing around. You're fo- you're, you're floating on top of the world with those on. <laughs> those are space jams or something. Oh. <laughs> I want to see LeBron James wearing some hokas, dude. Oh my god, LeBron oh James. Oh my god. <laughs> LeBron, dude. LeBron, if you see this, wear some hokas. The world would love it. I would love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be too funny. 